。在合欢东风的山腰上，这里是一个废弃滑雪场的缆车站，也就是说，即使是在亚热带岛屿，在高山上也有机会滑雪。在小小的台湾岛上，高耸的山峰让台湾有各式各样的森林面貌。Hello, everyone. I'm Zheng Guowei, a science communicator with a love of asking questions. Taiwan is an alpine island located in the subtropical zone. About 60% of the island is covered with forest. The extreme difference in altitude gives the forest a different appearance and composition. This episode of Taiwan Keywords, we are heading to the highlands of Taiwan to experience the forest at different altitudes. 全世界的快木森林只分布在三个地方：美国、日本跟台湾。我身后的溪头神木是中海拔森林具代表性的红块。曾经许多的巨木消失在台湾林业发展的历史上，而幸存下来的巨木，我们尊称为神木。这个溪头神木呢，是在二零一六年九月，因为。那个时候在溪头这边下了非常大的雨，然后，呃，在那个时候倒。那之前其实都还是在直立在这边哦。那溪头神木呢，之前的估算呢，大概是两千年左右哦。那现在的比较精确的估算呢，它是一千八百岁。Taiwan used to have one hundred ten thousand hectares of natural cypress forest. About fifty percent of the forest was cut down in the last century. These cypresses supported Taiwan's economy. It was not until 1980 that the government completely banned the logging of natural cypress forests. So, Scott, you are now a Taiwanese citizen. Yes. So,、uh, one of the reasons is that you love Taiwan's forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's one of the many reasons why I love Taiwan so much. But、uh, yeah, the forests are definitely one of the things that that are near and dear to my heart, and the fact that you know it's something that's just so different for me than where I come from,、uh, in in the United States and New Jersey. And you know, Taiwan's biodiversity is really, really special. And Taiwan is such a small country, but yet because of that, you're also really close to nature all the time. Actually, 70% of Taiwan is is mountains and foothills. So you know, sometimes you'll see people going up the pathway and they'll be playing music by themselves, and you know, just kind of listen to music and walking. And you know, it's just kind of part of the culture here. And then another time, you know, I had gotten into the middle of the woods and they're in the mountains and stuff. And then all of a sudden, I just hear a sound, and I thought it was a bird. No, it was somebody doing karaoke. Yeah. Because <laughs> Because <laughs> you also have the culture of you know building these kinds of like rest stops at the top, and so people have tea, or they might have exercise stations, and oftentimes they'll have karaoke spots as well. So everybody just kind of sitting around enjoying the nature and、uh, enjoy and just relaxing, which is really kind of wonderful. Forests have multiple functions and values. In the past, they produce wood. Now they are used for nature conservation, soil and water conservation, atmospheric and hydrological regulation, and as important recreation areas. You know, the Taipei City government they even encourage hiking in Taipei City, and so they have this thing called the Taipei Grand Trail, which is 92 kilometers. 92. And, yeah, in seven different sections, and and so after you finish the trail and you've experienced it, then they survive. I survived. I'm so glad about that. They actually they give you, well, you could、uh, get a towel for finishing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a souvenir, and so I'm so proud <laughs> of my of my cool towel. Yeah. Wow. 92. I know. I did the Taipei Grand Trail. 台湾的森林有哪些特色？而我们又如何与森林共同生活在岛上呢？ It's amazing because, like I was saying, Taiwan is so small. It's you know it's about the size of the Netherlands, but yet they have over 200 peaks that are over over 3,000 meters.、Right. And I love telling people that Yushan is actually higher than Mount Fuji,、yeah. because Mount Fuji is just 37, 76 meters, while as Mount Jade Yushan is 39, 52. So I really think that it's just wonderful to be able to hike and go to the forests and just be in nature here in Taiwan. 我们现在来到瑞岩溪野生动物重要栖息环境，好长的名字。You may have heard of a national park 
or wildlife refuge, but few people have specifically mentioned major wildlife habitat. This is a protected area with the main purpose of wildlife conservation. This is also a typical mid-altitude forest in Taiwan.那這裡的樹木呢,大部分都是可斗科的植物,在這些樹木上面樹枝,樹幹上面有相當多的植物附在上面,像是這些小小的藤蔓第一,像這些第一呢,其實都是這裡的空氣品質很好的一個指標,透
Well, so uh, I can collect 29 birds if I'm lucky. If you're lucky, <laughs> yes. But hearing and, and seeing hearing. are both important. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm really happy that uh, we could go and explore this area today. Yeah, happy mm. to uh, have yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course.那里我们现在已经到了台湾的高山环境，看到的植物景观跟刚才很不一样。在这个地方，你也可以看到说，在我们后面这里，可以看到森林的边界。哎，我先看，对，你可以看到说，森林长到某一个高度的时候，它就再也长不上去了，变成零零星星的独立树。那这样子这条边界呢，我们就把它叫做森林界限。那森林长不上去之后呢，就会变成。建筑的草原，所以看到这些淡绿色都是建筑的草原。Low temperature and strong wind in high mountains, soil gravel and other environmental constraints make it difficult for trees to grow and for forests to form. The high mountains forest line is called the alpine forest boundary. It is the limit of the height of the forest growth. Beyond this line, the high mountains are mainly covered with low azalea. Junipirus, Morisa Nicola Hayata Thrapland, and Yusania Nitaka Yamansis Grassland. The trail we are on now is near the forest boundary. Oh, like this one is Taiwan Lengshan. Oh, that is in the Taiwan Forest Book. It can grow to a very high forest range. Oh, in the mountains, it will have mountains and mountains. 像这种比较高的都是冷杉，对，这些比较高的都是冷杉。你可以看到它其实就是针叶树，嗯，但虽然它叫冷杉，但它是松科的植物，哦哦。你可以看到这里面呢，它的叶子跟树枝里面都有相当丰富的油脂。嗯。On high mountains, slopes are south-facing or north-facing. This also creates a very different type of forest. South-facing slopes are drier, usually form drought-tolerant pine forest. Or Yusania Nikata Yamanis Grassland, while north-facing slopes are wetter and have the opportunity to form forests of these three fir species. Did you know there used to be a ski resort in the mountains of Taiwan? This is a photo of a ski activity on Mount Hehuan. Which is 3,400 meters above sea level. There is no cover for about two months every winter back in the Japanese era. Japanese people used to ski on Mount Hehuan. There is also a ski lift for skiing. At that time, Mount Hehuan was not only a popular ski resort but also a snow training center for the National Army. Unfortunately, as the snow cover decreased, skiing activities are disappearing. 我们在准备的时候也想要告诉大家说，合欢山以前是可以滑雪的，所以我们也可以感受到我们不同的世代，甚至在同一个世代之间，就很明确的看到，呃，全球暖化带来的影响。而且它的影响呢，不只是在高山的环境上面，包括我们每一个台湾人不同的世代里面，对于台湾的认识也有不同的影响。台湾有个名词叫“百岳”，一指一百座超过三千公尺以上的高山。攀登百岳是许多台湾人热衷追求的毕生志愿。事实上，这座岛上有两百六十九座超过海拔三千公尺以上的高山，吸引了全世界热爱登山的人。Is your first time here, right? Yes,、yeah, my first time to Hoa Hoa Hoa. It's true. Well, I'm really glad to have the chance to be able to come here. To be honest with you, I mean, I've been hiking in Taiwan since I've gotten here, which is about 12 years ago. And so, there's always something new that you could go ahead and learn in Taiwan's mountains. It's also really amazing to me just the accessibility of,、uh, of Taiwan's mountains, because you know, I live I live in Taipei. Within 30 minutes of being deep inside of a city, you could find yourself in the middle of a jungle. That you know, these mountain areas of Taiwan 
somehow are one of its best kept secrets, <laughs> even though there's so much of it around. And so I really do hope that now the secret is out thanks to, uh, thanks to hopefully maybe this video. 